Tattoos hurt. Listen, I'm not bothered what anybody says. I've had thousands of customers that have sat there. I can't feel this bullshit. Tattoos are painful, but where on the body does it hurt the most? I'm going to talk you through just a few points that I think make a massive difference on how much the tattoo hurts and things that you can do to obviously make it hurt less. And then we're going to jump into this diagram and look through the entire body, talking about all the different body parts and give them kind of like a rating, whether it hurts least or whether it's gonna fucking kill. So I'll get ready for that. One of the big factors that I tell everybody about regulating pain is it just your overall health on the day. If you're going for your tattoo appointment and you feel shit, you run down, you just don't feel well on yourself. Ideally, you should be spending day in bed or on sofa watching TV because you just feel ill. Your pain barrier is gonna be loads lower. Everything is gonna hurt a lot more. So make sure you're well rested, make sure you're feeling good. If at any point you start coming down with something, just let your artist know, all right? So if you're under the weather or feeling ill, if you're going for a tattoo, expect the pain to be more than usual. So when it comes to pain and time, this is my experience. This is how I like to explain it. Left hand side, we've got pain, zero down here. Maximum pain right at the top. As the tattoo goes on, we move across in a timeline. So for me, this is what I experience. The pain starts relatively high straight away. It's just you're getting used to it. Those first few minutes is just getting used to being tattooed. Then it just drops pretty much straight away. During this time, you'll have little spikes of pain. During the tattoo, little bits is gonna hurt more than others. And I find this on every single time that I get tattooed. Fine, fine, fine. Little bits that really hurt and then it goes back to fine. And then you're gonna reach a point. <laughs> Everybody reaches a point. It might be one hour, two hours, five hours. But at some point, that pain is just going to start coming up and up and up until it gets to a point where your body has just completely had enough. The amount of hours that that takes is going to be totally different for everybody. For me, six hours, this pain just starts increasing and it almost becomes unbearable. The longest that I've been tattooed is eight hours, but the six to eight hours were right up here. Those last two hours were just so painful. I didn't enjoy it at all. But prior to that, it were just little spikes. Let me know if you agree with this. Another point that massively affects how painful a tattoo is, and I'll explain why, is drinking alcohol the night before, or if you're an idiot, the day of. So it thins your blood. The, the tattoo is gonna bleed more than usual. It's gonna push ink out. The artist is then gonna have to go over areas more than what they should because the ink is coming out with the blood. It makes it messy and it results in it being more painful. Also, alcohol is supposed to increase the pain receptors. Naturally, it's just gonna make it more painful anyway. And let's be honest, you don't wanna be rocking up for a tattoo, especially if you've got a long sitting with a hangover, all right? It's gonna make you feel shit before you even start in first place. So don't be drinking alcohol at least 24 to 48 hours before getting a tattoo. That is a definite. And I've actually known it in, in past where my customers come in and I could smell alcohol on them. I just refused to do a tattoo. and just said, you've lost your deposit and you've wasted my time. During your consultation, it will explain to you, do not drink alcohol at least 24 to 48 hours before. All right, so just don't do it. Before we move on to where on the body, it actually hurts the most. I've got one more little tip for you. And it's something that I used to tell all my customers, your skin condition on the day makes a massive difference to how easy the ink goes in. Now, obviously the easier the ink goes in, the less trauma to skin, the less painful it's gonna be. So one thing that we can do to drastically improve that is for at least two weeks, ideally, prior to going in for your tattoo, if you're not one of these people, and, and I'm a suck of this, I don't, but if you're not one of those that moisturizes on a daily basis, make sure you become that person. If you're getting your arm tattooed, at least two weeks before, every single day, once you've had a shower or a bath, moisturize that area. It's gonna add nutrients and keep the skin nice and supple and get it into a good condition. If you've got dry, cracked skin, 
it's just going to naturally hurt more. But let's get onto the body because this is the good bit. So I think this diagram is a really good example. It's really related to every tattoo I've had. I found these to be really accurate. And the thousands upon thousands of people that I've tattooed over the years, barring the odd few, this would be relatively accurate to those as well. You get the odd person, like just as an example, my forearm didn't necessarily hurt. The next person, they just might have a sensitive spot there and it could really hurt. So this is just a guideline. It's not 100% accurate. Some people will not fall into these rules. But as we can see, look, we'll start at left hand side, back of the head, red it's gonna be relatively painful every time i've tattooed somebody on the head and a lot of times they actually say it's not necessarily the pain but it almost feels like a jackhammer hitting because there's not a great deal of flesh it's relatively hard feels feels like your head's fucking shaking about that's the experience that i've been told neck first hand on this i've got all my neck done i found it painful and i agree with this yep yeah, that's a red zone but as we'll find out about later, a lot of that for me personally was time relevant. It didn't start off that bad, but and then after time, it got almost, almost unbearable. I didn't quite get to the point where I just quit, but I was gritting my teeth thinking, fucking hell, is this gonna be over? The armpit, never a nice area. I ain't got a tattoo there, but I've never tattooed an armpit and I'm sit there and say, this isn't nice. This is enjoyable. Nobody's enjoyed it. Definitely agree with this one, red. Upper back, first hand again, I've got all top of my back done. I didn't find this too bad. But the next bit, the spade, the bit at the bottom, I totally agree with. Because when it gets just under your shoulder blade, it nips and it really fucking nips. It makes that pain just shoot up. So I agree with that. Forearm is the least amount of pain. I totally agree with that. Over 10 plus years, I have never tattooed anybody on the forearm. Yeah, it still hurts. It's not pain free, but I've never had anybody say, oh, can we stop or have a break ever in 10 plus years of tattooing thousands. And I mean, thousands of people. Nobody's ever said it, it hurts to a point where I want to stop. The elbow is more pain. It kind of balances itself out because there's not a great deal of nerve endings because of the type of skin and always leaning on stuff, it deadens the sensation there. But it still becomes quite painful. But again, mixed reviews on this, depending on whether they do like a lot of combat sports, just as an example, and elbow in bags, or they're, they're in an outside job where they're leaning on stuff all the time, it'll deaden them nerves even more. But at the same time, it then thickens the skin, making it harder to tattoo. So you've got to go over that area more times to get the ink to be saturated. And then that in turn, can make it more painful. So it swings and roundabouts, but I definitely agree the elbow is a relatively painful spot. Lower back, most pain. I agree with this, but this is very mixed reviews. So women predominantly went through a massive stage of having the little tattoos across the lower back. It was massive in tattoo industry. Everybody in the dog wanted to go get them. I had complete mixed reviews on this. Some agony, total agony. They wanted to stop every 10 minutes. They could barely sit still. And then next person would come in, oh, I'm absolutely fine with it, all right? So mixed reviews on that one. Wrist, the least pain. I do and I don't agree with this. It's a really sharp pain, or oh, that's what I found, but it is bearable. Please let me know in comments whether you agree with this. It's an easy spot to get tattooed, but it does feel really sharp, even though it's bearable. Hopefully, anybody that's got the wrist done, hopefully that, that'll make perfect sense. The bottom, red, most pain. There's been a couple of backside tattoos that I've done where they've been all right. The rest have said, yeah, that, that hurts. And it's quite surprising, really, because we sat on his ass the majority of days. He'd think it'd be quite relatively dead, but it is a really painful spot. Rear of the leg, more pain. I totally agree with this. I've got my full leg done. The back of the leg was quite painful. As we get to the back of the knee, next level. I 100% agree with this. I found that horrible, really sharp, and at the same time, like a hot, pain that was my personal experience nobody has ever said yeah i like i like getting tattooed there the inner thigh really sore spot again the calf and ankle relatively okay i've got both mine done i found them all right 
So I totally agree with this diagram. One at least pains. The shoulder, I think this is labeled up slightly wrong. To me, that's more the trap and the front of the collarbone. I disagree with this. The trap, yes, relatively less pain, but as you come down more towards the collarbone area, painful. Wow, <laughs> I'd absolutely dreaded that part when I was getting all my neck done. Not nice at all. The ears, I've never tattooed anybody's ear itself. I've gone behind it, in front of it, above it, but never the actual ear. So I can't comment on this, but this is saying it's relatively painful or most painful. See, I can't imagine that being that bad. I almost feel like I need to just do it with either just no ink and see what it feels like to, to see lips. So I used to do cosmetics, and so I've done quite a few lip tattoos, the lip liner. None of them moved. I don't know whether it's because women's got better pain tolerance or they're that nervous about it because they've heard how painful it's going to be, so they just bear it. But again, on this, I ain't got my lips on, so I can't comment firsthand. None of them ever jumped around or threw the face around, but they all said it were painful. Chest, more pain. This, this is an hard one because the chest itself, the pec, I found absolutely fine. Get into the middle, where the sternum is and underneath the pec, painful, really painful. Again, women, the under boob tattoos as they're referred to, it doesn't seem to hurt women half as much as I were in like real bad pain. But every time I've done an under boob on a woman, they've laid there absolutely fine, 99% of the time. Upper arm, least pain, 100% agree. The shoulder area itself, never had anybody say that it's uh, anything to worry about. Inner bicep, the inner arm. This is actually my favorite place to tattoo portraits, the inside of the bicep. Really, really nice skin to tattoo. It's saying red on here. I, I think I disagree with this one a little bit. I'd say some to more pain, personally. And that's, I've done this tattoo thousands of time on inside the bicep. Only after five to six hours do people start saying, look, it's getting a bit sore now. So I, I'd possibly disagree with that one. Ribs, stomach, hip, or side, all the abdomen area. I've got my full stomach done. It goes right down to my hips and into my boxer line slightly. I didn't enjoy any single part of that. It's a hard place to tattoo as well because it's almost like a squishy surface. It's hard to press and stretch. So it's, it's relatively difficult for the artist. The front of the hips where the hip flexors are and the groin, horrible places to tattoo. I totally agree with all this. It's red everywhere in that area. It's painful. The hand and fingers. The hand, it's referring to the palm. Supposed to be, so, I ain't got mine done. I've only done a couple of them. So painful, so, so painful. Fingers, I've got the tops of my fingers done. I disagree with this. I didn't find them that bad. Every time I've done a hand tattoo on the outside, they've always said it's all right. Not too painful. And I didn't find mine that bad at all. So personal experience, I'd possibly disagree with that. And the people that I've tattooed, they'd, they'd probably disagree with that as well. The outside of the thigh, the front, super easy place to tattoo. Really common as well. There's odd little bit that nips. So it's green instead of blue, but a good spot. The knee, very similar to the elbow, as in the texture of skin, especially, like I said earlier, if they're a tiler, for example, or the fit flooring as a living and they're constantly kneeling up, down, up, down all day on the knees, it could be more painful or even less painful depending on their body. Because, yeah, it's going to deaden the nerves, but because the skin's going to be thicker, it's going to be harder work for the machine to push the ink in. Therefore, you're going to have to go over it a few more times, resulting in more pain. So it, it's kind of swings and roundabouts. Let me know in the comments if you have experienced any of this and whether you totally agree or disagree with what I'm saying. The foot, it's saying here most painful. I'll be honest, 50-50 with this. Some people say it's absolutely fine. I haven't got the tops of my feet done. I think it would kill, but I've done loads of foot tattoos. Majority, I'd say, are on women. They're all sat fine. The ones that I've done on men, not so much. I don't know whether we're built different. I don't know whether his pain's different genetically, maybe, uh, around his feet, but women seem to take the pain a lot better, in my experience, uh, than men. But that's the body part. We've done front and back. Let me know which ones you agree with, which ones you strongly disagree with.